Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing our lineup construction video for UFC 302. We were able to get to it a little bit earlier than usual. Um, I've already done a little bit of the legwork for you, um, well, for you, uh, for myself. Sometimes it I make you guys wait for me to run the initial builds, but this time I decided to get a head start. So again, what we're doing is we're using SaberSim. And we are using the customized projections. Um, now, these are probably going to change, but just to kind of show you, I put the uh, projections up here into my proj, and I ch put my ownership into my own, um, which affects, you know, a lot of the things that we do. But it is a good idea to kind of double double check to make sure that there's no projection that's completely out of whack here. And, I mean, you could hassle over, you know, which of these guys should be higher than the other, but it's really not that big of a deal um, between Dawson, Almeida, Hafez, you know, they, they all have incredible grappling upside. They all have some finishing upside and they're all projected close enough. You know, um, I doubt that Dawson is going to get that much lower ownership, even though his point per dollar is a little lower because his ownership is lower in our projection. So, probably get a decent amount of him anyway. Um, so it, it's the one thing that I am a little bit surprised about was, was Lima is not showing up as a much, much better play. When, when I, when I spoke about this earlier in the week, I had these delusions about him being like 50% owned and the big discussion would be how to, whether to fade him or not. I mean, he's minus 275 inside the distance, excuse me, minus 275 to win plus 125 inside the distance, 8,600. He's by far, you know, the best value of anybody fighting three rounds, as far as I'm concerned. But for whatever reason, he's not getting played, maybe because of the way construction works. So I don't know. We're going to see how much we get. But, I mean, he's certainly going to be in all my big buy-ins. I mean, ones I pan build. But let's see what we get to in the 150 max. And everything else down here, it seems like the normal, you know, thing like Poirier and, and Selecki. The guys that are least likely to win are projecting to be the lowest. I mean, that's pretty much it. That doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to play them because the way this stuff works is it, it creates a distribution of results that it just does. It doesn't just give you this median projection. So that's why the median projection in and of itself is not that big of a deal. Um, and as long as just nothing looks completely egregious, totally happy to go with it. The other, by the way, the other value that kind of emerged was the Cesar Almeida um, because he became the favorite at 8K instead of 8,200. And you'll see a pretty big difference in projection. He's got a 62 projection and um, Copula for the 56, even though one's 200 lower than the other. So probably going to end up with very little Roman Copula on the slate, which yeah, it sort of flies in the face of what I said in my earlier breakdown. I did feel as though he had more takedown upside uh, than Almeida. So we'll just see what we end up actually doing. But here is just the way that I, this is the way that I like to use these tools. So the first thing I did was I ran 150 lineups, excuse, excuse me, I ran 5,000 lineups with my projections and ownership to give us this kind of pool to work from. And we're first listing it by the top, well, I said 150, so let's just put this back here. And all this is really about is, is how to rank these 5,000 lineups. Like this drop down here is really kind of the key. Um, one thing I didn't do yet was run the contest sims. Well, I'll do that for you to show you how that works. But the first thing I want to look at are the two main Sabre score outputs that you need to be aware of. Um, the first one, well, let's look at this one first. So this one is Sim Diversity 10. And this is basically the main Sabre sim, you know, quote unquote, high upside lineups to win GPPs that they kind of pre-formulate for you. When I say pre-formulate, I mean, like you look at the eye here and it says what the actual formula is given the inputs that you put in here, okay? Um, and to, you know, to cut to the chase, it's not bad. I mean, it's it's probably the, you know, going to give you the portfolio that's most likely, I would say most likely, but it's, pre, it's probably the most likely of all your builds that you're going to make to maybe get optimal. But quite honestly, if you're trying to win the 200K by yourself, this is almost never going to be good enough. Um, as a matter of fact, I would I would bet that 
of the 150 lineups that you make using a sim diversity 10, I would say less than 30, 30% would be unique, absolutely unique, you know? So it depends on what you want to do. You know, listen, if, there's a reason why things are duplicated. They're just more likely to get there, but you know, we're trying to kind of strike that balance between yes, having a good chance to win, but also we'd like to get unique if, as much as possible. So how do you do that? You know, uh, and, and we'll get to some examples of what to do about that in a minute. So first of all, the Sim Diversity 10 setting, when we look at it this way, um, you'll look here on the right, excuse me, on the left, and, and you'll get the most exposure out of the quote unquote good plays, like all, all the plays that you're kind of familiar with, right? Sim Diversity 10, forget the Min Uniques 2 for a second, let's go Min Uniques 1. Um, you're getting Almeida, who I mentioned, Strickland, Perez, Makachev, Lima, like all, all the plays that look like the reasonable plays, you know, and, and that certainly makes sense. I, I'm a little bit surprised that um, Almeida would be actually the top owned um, and Makachev would not be higher, but they're all pretty much the same. These are what would be like the four, the five core core. So you could put all 150 in, you could choose to put 50 of these guys in. And when you just take the top 50, now you're getting uh, uh, Almeida, excuse me, Makachev is the highest uh, on a percent basis. Okay. Um, the, the, the next setting that you want to look at is this MMA default setting. And again, it's sort of a misnomer because when you see MMA default, what that sort of implies is that it's the default, meaning that it's like the most likely thing that you're going to want to play. But the reality is, is that it's not even remotely what you're most likely to play. When you when you get into the the weeds here and, and you look at the at the math, you have it's 0.5 times the projection plus 0.5 times the 99th percentile outcome of the lineup, um, and then a big a, a big ding to ownership. So it's minus 0.3 times the sum of adjusted ownership. So 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 this. This um, setting is just about the most violent there is. Um, so what I've done is I've actually created a second, and you could screw around with this, a second kind of uh, kind of like ornery setting. I called it sheets default. And that was instead of making it all of this times 0.5 uh, times the 99th percentile, I went to the 95th percentile, made it a little a little less ornery. Um, and you could do that. You could change whatever you want. You know, you could you could change these settings. You could customize your own, whatever. So when you look at those under Sheets default, you see like a whole different cast of characters like kind of near the top, okay? Because we don't really care too much about the, the average projection. We don't care about even the 50th percentile outcome or the top sim optimals or whatever. All we're caring about is a 95th percentile outcome, and we're really digging it for adjusted ownership. Okay, so your 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 first question is going to be, how many, if any, do you put in of sheets to default? How many of any do you put in of MMA sim diversity? You know, um, before we kind of make those decisions, we should probably run the sims here. So let's just see what those look like. Um, Let's look at the contest we entered. Okay, so this is the 555. We'll right-click and hit Add Contest Sim. And here's a question of what, what are we going to use to figure out what the field is? Are we going to use our 5,000 lineup build? Or are we going to use the field that's based on the Sabre Sim ownership? I actually think that um, uh, I'd rather use the, 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 the build that we made. Otherwise, we're relying really exclusively on the Sabre Sim ownership, um, and we're building a full five thousand lineups of of a of a pretty spread out projection set. So I think it's going to be pretty. I think it's clear that I'm supposed to use those instead. But the question is, do I use them for all of the contests? Um, I don't have too much of a choice here, you know, because they don't let you specify what ownership you want to use for each of these things either so let's let's just do the same thing for all of them say build one this will just use saber some ownership uh again uh 
build one. Okay, contest and build one. All right. So we're using our 5,000 lineup set as the as the comparison. And if you want to see what that is, by the way, you'll go into this build one thing and you'll look at not just exposure, but you'll look at um, pool exposure. And what this says is total amount of lineups in the pool that contain this player. Now, uh, I don't know about this. And when I look at this, it's actually only saying that 33% of Islam is going to be in this. So I think that that's probably incorrect. You know, that that's pretty much undisputably incorrect. Um, and Perez is going to be less than 33. So, so let's go back into this and let's change our mind. Let's actually, instead, let's use the Sabre Sim ownership instead of using Build 1 to do our contest sims. This one we already did. Uh, single entry, Sabre Sim ownership. U.S. Triangle single single ownership. Okay, fine. So now we're going to run the contest sim. And again, we're, we're just creating another kind of portfolio of lineups to kind of choose from, you know? So now we will go here. And again, we're only focusing on, on the 150 right now. So let's let's do this. Um, UFC 302 special. We'll sort by risk-adjusted ROI. And then we'll get like kind of this, this bunch of lineups here. Um, and if you want, if you care, you know, if you want to see what you have, you'll actually get like 78% Sean Strickland, which is obviously a lot, um, 52% Lima. But again, you really shouldn't worry too much about, about what you're getting. You know, you should just know that at least you're, you're, you're running, you know, you're, you're running the right process. Okay. One thing that, that you will notice is that you're not getting all that much of, of Islam. Um, so what, what's good about this is that where normally when you run these contest sims, you don't get a lot of uniqueness. In this one, because you're getting, for example, 46% Kopulov and 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 um what's his name? Only 22% Makachev, you're probably more on the road to uniqueness than you usually would be when you use these contest sims. Okay. Um, so we have three kind of sets to choose from if we want. Um, to to pick our lineups, we could pick from the again the um. We could pick from the MMA default setting, which is no, I mean almost not all those are going to be unique, but a good amount of them. You could play, maybe fifty from the straight sim diversity pool, um, maybe play fifty from this pool, and that is something that you can do. Um, and, and it's the question of how how much you combine them. It's a twelve fight card, with you know, a lot of ownership in those top two fights. So I'm kind of inclined to, you know, to really get unique here. So I think I'm going to play a full 50 of the, um, of the, uh, of the MMA default, or that, that would be what I'd be inclined to do. So for example, so one way to do that is you could save an Excel file, or you could use the, the, the favorites section to do that. So like, for example, um, let's, um, uh, well, let's not do that. Let's actually save the save the Excel spreadsheet. So we will go. Where was I? Um, where is Sheets Default? Okay, let's go back to Sheets Default. All right, that same crew. And let's and and here's a question: Do we want to go min uniques more than two or more than one? May as well. May as well spread it out a little bit, especially if you're already getting pretty unique. You don't want to take too many chances. So we're going to save this and we're going to call this MMA default. And we'll put it over here. We'll just call it default 50. Where is this thing? Um, I'm going to call this default 50. We're going to save that. And we're going to get back to that in a minute. Um, then we're going to go back to, I think the next the next set is probably going to be the Sims. All right. But the question here, before I even get in, into this, is we'll go back to this 
these are the the sim the sim ones do we want to do anything else with the ownership okay cuz as i mentioned it's it's kind of tough to um to get unique when you just do the contest sims with mma so you might consider doing some geo mean filtering here um and what that does is it forces low ownership and the question is how much do you want to force it well the question is how unique do you want to get um, let's pull up our, our geo mean calculator. And we'll figure out exactly what the geo mean needs to be. So what we need to know is how many people are in this tournament. That's pretty much it. So we click on this thing, 32,941, 32,941 entries. Okay. And let's say we want to have a max of five dupes, okay? So what you need then is a geo mean of less than 23.1. Um, and I promise you, that's going to be very, very difficult to do, um, which is why, again, these are, you know, that's why these are typically not very unique lineups. But let's let's take a look and see what that would look like. I think it's probably what you're supposed to do if you're going to access this type of this type of stuff. So... Um, geo mean less than 23.1 boom and then you get all kinds of all, all, all kinds of stuff right and now we're now we're back in that world you know of 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 you're back in that world of not necessarily making the best plays okay but i think that's okay you know we're, we're trying to get unique here and and this is what you do when you try to win the 150 okay that's just all i can tell you um and we'll go again min uniques too if we want um just again and so we're still getting these same types of lineups which is are kind of offensive honestly but that's what you need and that's what you need to do if you want to get unique um and again i'm not saying you have to play this way but this is what i'm doing so we'll we'll save this one. We're going to call this um, sim, but we're also going to call this geomean, so we know what we're doing here. Sim geomean, and then I think what we're supposed to do then is the same thing with the. Um, we're probably supposed to do the same thing with the um, with the uh, the sim diversity setting, but we're not going to. What we're going to do instead is we're going to build our final 50 lineups out of the, the guys that we like. And I know that that's kind of like flies in the face of, of analytics and whatever it is, but, but I kind of like to play this way. So, so what I want to do is I want to do almost another build with just the guys that I like, whatever that meant. So we're going to go back through and kind of unclick some of the guys I don't like. So uh, we talked about this earlier. Romanoff's got to be a good play. Uh, Raposo is fine. Raposo, I thought was fine because I thought that 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 Lima was going to be really popular, but because he's because he isn't, um, I'm I'm going to x him out. Um, uh, Selecki was fine, but I thought Selecki was fine only because I thought Dawson was going to be popular. He's not going to be so much so, so we will get rid of him. Uh, Poirier, you have to kind of play. Holland was was fine enough. Gall, I thought, was an okay uh, um, punt, right, against, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, against, uh, crap, Hafez. Jocelyn Edwards, I thought, was a fade. Um, Phil Rowe, I thought, was a fade. DeSantos, I thought, was a fade. Oh, Zaychuk, I thought was an okay punt. Again, only if, if Holland was going to be really popular, so he's not going to be that popular, so we'll X him out. Uh, Morona was fine. Obviously, Makachev was fine. Price, I thought, was an okay punt. Randy Brown, I didn't like. Uh, Almeida and, and Kapilov, both of them, I, I I thought they were okay in single entry, but not so much in 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 um in like 150. So we're going to actually X them out of this build Perez was fine Matthews I didn't think was particularly good here um I thought I liked him over the other guy over row but it, it doesn't look like such a great play Almeida fine Lima obviously I thought was terrific Strickland a good play 
And let's see if we could do this and just use these guys without having to rebuild. I doubt it. Yeah. So we have to rebuild here. So we're going to rebuild, but we don't need to rebuild like 10 million lineups here. Let's just rebuild. We're only building, we only need 50. So let's build 500 and this group. And all we're going to do is we're going to take these 50, what, which what I consider what I consider a combination of like the best plays, whatever that is. Um, Wait, why is Selecki still listed? I didn't want Selecki. Oh, he's not there anymore. Okay. Um, so this is all like the plays I thought were kind of okay. And then the question is, how do I play these? Well, let's first rank them by Sim Diversity 10, I guess. And then we want to, again, we only want to do the ones that have a chance to be unique. So let's, again, make that Sim Divert, that Geo Mean of 23. And let's see if we can create 50 lineups out of these guys. Because otherwise, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to leave money on the table. Um, so let's see. This ad filter, geo mean, less than 23. Let's see if we can even get them. Yeah, we, oh, mm, yeah, we could actually, just barely though. Um, except why are these guys listed? Oh, these are fine. We're getting them over here. No, because now we're getting Jocelyn Edwards. Why am I getting these? Oh, because of my filtering. It's not letting me get a, a geomean of 23. That's what's happening here. Let's see. Let's see what it, it does let me get. This is pretty, this is pretty uh, telling, right? That if you make the best plays, it's difficult to get unique, right? Unless you want to leave money on the table, maybe. So what, what if we did a, a junior less than 25? What would that do for us? Anything? No, even that doesn't do anything for us. It, it, it makes us get these guys that we don't want. So the other only other thing I can think of of doing is leaving money on the table. Um... And then only the question becomes like how much? Well, one thing you could do, well, it's gotta be at least 200 because you want to be able to get from uh eight the 8k Kopulov. I mean uh Almeida to Kopulov. So you want to leave that 200 on the table for sure. And then I kind of want to leave a little more so uh, that I could get like some some whatchamacallit lineups, some Dawson lineups that don't have Makachev, for example. So we would have maybe leave 400 of that on the table. So why don't we leave 500 on the table? Let's see if that can work. We could do it from this spot. We can go, we'll leave 500 on the table. We'll X these guys out and we'll rebuild lineups and let's see what we get. And again, this is this is why this is a completely different video. This has very little to do with with who the best plays are. This is completely exclusively just how to take how to gamble, like how, like how how to take a shot at this winning this big two hundred thousand. And we know that we're not playing the one hundred and fifty most likely lineups to get there. That's just the way it is. Okay, so we're leaving five hundred to the table. All right, this looks actually pretty good. Um, this is listed by MMA default. We don't need to do that. We can list it by MMA Sim Diversity. All right, so this is fine. And we're leaving this amount of money on the table again, which is fine. And we have that. We don't need to do a GeoMean filter because we're already with 500 left. And if you want, we could even apply this to, we can run the contest sim with this, with this, with this crew if we want. We kind of tighten this up a little bit. Right, and then special, very nice. All right, 
So what we'll do is we'll now um, uh, save these lineups. Ooh, can we go min unique too? Can we get away with this? And we could. I mean, we definitely could. Um, you know what? May as well. May as well do this. All right. So now let's save these. Oh, we only have 40. Ooh. I wanted 50, right? Oh, I probably couldn't get it with right. So I couldn't get it with 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 min uniques two. So min uniques one. We got to do it this way. So let's uh save this and we're gonna call this um best plays, I guess. But we're gonna call it so we remember best plays. 49,500. So, you know, because we know we left 500 on the table. Okay. So now we've built 150 lineups, right? But it's possible that we've duped ourselves in the different screens. So we have our little spreadsheet here that we can test that. Um, and again, I, have, I, I put this in the Discord for you guys. If you don't have it, you can either search up or ask it again, or I could pin it somehow. You could sometimes use the favorite section to do this, but some sometimes it doesn't really work too well. So you take this this uh this sheet and we put the the sheets we want to test for dupes against it in here. So for example, let's take uh let's start with best plays 49,500. Okay, we'll take those 50. Take these and we'll plop them into this this tool here. Top, you know, 50 lineups. And then we're going to look at this other one, the Sim Geo Mean that we did before. Okay. Put this over here. And then we're going to go to that other file, which was the... MMA default 50 or sheets default 50. Put those in. This. Boom. And now we have 150 lineups put into this tool. And now we're going to test to see how many unique lineups we have. And if we need to add like, any, any of them add any more. So let's hit remove duplicate lineups. And this is a macro that kind of does this for you. And then you will see how many we keep and how many we have to get duped. So, so there are actually quite a few. So there's 17 of the 150 that are duped. Okay. So you can handle this another, a couple of ways you could choose, you know, which thing, which, which, um, which setting to add to. Okay. Um, uh, and that's something I'll probably do kind of offline a little bit later, but these are the, all the unique ones that you can, that you're playing. So I'm going to put those in for now, realizing that I need to get another 17 lineups. And here's a little trick for me to rem rem remember that I need to do this. Let's go into the, um, the entry file. this and we'll put all these in here and then what we'll do is we'll take the what were there 17 dupes or something let's see uh wait 35 plus 50. so 17 dupes so what we're going to do is just take the top 17 lineups here seventeen would be three through nineteen right and then we will drop those over here and then it'll create dupes in, in in the entry file so like for example when i upload it it'll 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 see you know which which need to be ad addressed like we go mma and you'll see like all these that have two entries, these are the dupes. So these are the ones I'm going to have to go through. 
Um, but that's pretty much it, you know, and, 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 and I, listen, I, I, I welcome any comments and improvements because obviously I'm not doing it optimally because nobody knows for sure how to do this. These are the things that I've been kind of playing around with. Um, who says that it should be 50 of each thing? Who says that I should do any MMA default? Who says that I should, you know, whatever, but this is how I'm using these tools to kind of screw around. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys for this week. Um, good luck, everybody.